one of that. Like there. Yeah, but underground. Fuck. <sighs> right now. Oh, Thing. Yeah. Oh my god, see, I'm so boring. I don't even... I'm very familiar with genital herpes, so I send that one in. <laughs> so, oh my god. Okay. I could get the pimple. No, you did not pop that, let me see. That looks like it hurt though. Yeah, no, I didn't. I've had worse. That pimple tolerance is low. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's like I hate popping pimple. Like, it hurts so I much. I like dig my nail Ugh. into it. <laughs> if it's on my face, like, mm -hmm. But like, I had two blackheads like on my forehead, and like, I was not gonna give up. And it feels so good, like, I've, the best pimple I've ever had was on the top of my lip. We had drama that day. Oh, this is Rachel. Um, back to the story, more important, sorry. I was in the car, and like, the pimple was like right above my lip, so it was like a blackhead, you know, zone kind of thing. I get them too! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one was at the top, and it got infected, so it started like, rise, like, full intention. So I was, I would get my teeth, and like, scrape at it. Nothing would come out. So annoying. And like, it would get to the point where it's like, I don't know if it was on a nerve or something, but like, every time you tried to get at it, it would hurt. It would hurt. Like, what I did is like, I went for it. And then, it was so like, bad that I got my like, finger and I started peeling my lip. And then it got to the point where you could like, see it. So I popped it. And it was like a hard pop. It's not liquidy. Mm. And it went all over the mirror. <laughs> so it was in the car, you know those car mirrors? And I popped it, went straight from the mirror. Best moment of my life. Okay. So, for our Mookie Bang. I know what that means. <laughs> I hope that was racist. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we got for some food is um, Rachel got. Can you stop looking at no! me like that? The salt's in my nose! <laughs> we got Smith chips. Multi. Do you look like. Oh, sorry. Maltesers. Yeah. And they are crisp malt centers covered with a smooth milk chocolate. We also got party mix because we're having a party. We got Doritos. Okay, okay. okay, Doritos. Have you ever had CC's unsalted? Well, you said what? That's what I meant. I didn't know. <laughs> we got needle induced <laughs> strawberries <laughs> from Berry Valley, and we guess they're very good. <laughs> so we're gonna. Oh, okay. No oh. one's gonna respond. Like, wait, we've got like four responses. <laughs> <We're> famous. <laughs> Look at that mom, dad, comedian. <laughs> <laughs> tell me all about your life. I was born and raised in South Africa. Really? No! <laughs> no, okay, so I was born in Perth, Subiaco. Oh my god, I was born in Subiaco too. <laughs> never had any friends, no one ever loved me. <laughs> you know, the usual. So, nothing usual, like, nothing's changed. so many emotions right now. The last couple of days have been crazy. Like mentally, emotionally, sometimes physically. Vaginal <laughs> Okay, you didn't need to sigh. He seen me cry like four times this week, he's done. Such a bitch compared to your other friends. He's gonna go my own shit. <laughs> like after this, we're gonna go into like a massive cry set. Oh, honey, it's already beginning. <laughs> I have an urban dictionary open because I didn't know what the fuck was. <laughs> What are your plans after graduation? Well, quite. I already graduated. What are your plans after graduation? Graduation. I really want to like run my own clothing brand, you know, get that kind of stuff going. I really want to buy a hoodie from you. Because I love hoodies. My love hoodie. Ah! Wait, does this mean love friends? <laughs> What's it like to have a relationship? Honestly? Why are you running? It's difficult in <laughs> difficult in having a relationship from high school, especially when we both turned eighteen. It's difficult being in a relationship pre eighteen as opposed to post eighteen. I mean, especially for both parties because there are so many more people out there than you actually realize. Yeah. Like you go to a club that two hundred, three hundred people there. Oh. Like pre eighteen, it's really hard to wrap your mind around what it's like to go out. 
different world. And I think that's one of the hardest things, especially going from high school to having to be adults. And we're, I'm working full time now and I don't get to see each other as often. And when you're working full time, you don't have time to do stuff. Yeah. You're just tired all the time. And it obviously puts a strain, but I mean, if you really love the person, you'll make it work. So. It's nothing like relationships on Instagram. Like you have to realize your relationship's your own. They don't post the bad shit. My dad diagnosed himself as lactose intolerant a few months ago, and now he only drinks soy milk. <laughs> You're kidding. I know, right? Like, real milk doesn't do anything for him. He just doesn't like it, so he's like, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Should we make it a lighter topic? Oh my god. What's a poor life decision? Bailey, hi bitch, how are you? <laughs> Eric, hi bitch. <laughs> no, wait, this is from Bailey. Poor life decisions. What's the poorest life decision you've ever made? Well, do we want to go to that dark topic again? <laughs> being here today. <laughs> Honestly, a light-hearted poor decision is not being more strict with my homework and study skills. Okay, I was going to talk about, like, taking shisha for one time. <laughs> Forget it was drugs. Taking shisha? Taking it shisha. It's tobacco. I'm going to die now. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'll take over your YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll wear the wig. Oh, favorite song at the moment. Oh my god, favorite song. Favorite song at the moment. Oh, it has to be Electricity. <gasps> Play it. I'm hard. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, <laughs> my favorite song right now. Oh my god, you know her! I have it, yeah. There's one question about Jake Paul, but you don't even know who Jake Paul is. I don't know who Jake Paul is. What do you think about Jake Paul? Um, dumb twat. I kind of feel bad for him. Why? Because of Shane Dawson's series. Wait, what is he saying? What is happening to Shane Dawson's series? Like, the series makes me feel like he isn't getting enough love from his parents. Also, his brother, he had so much, like, tendencies to, like, win competitions with his brother and everything. Having a bad family life or a bad childhood doesn't give you the right to create shit content. Is <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was a bit too much. That was, that's my internal mood constantly. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Can I just shut my foot under you for a sec? Alright. Oh my god. What are we doing on that one? What's really going on? Why she, you, okay. I seen her okay. Saturday, mm -hmm. last Saturday. She, she's been like saying all this stuff to me. But she's like, I'm gonna break your legs and all this stuff. Break a leg is is a is a is something that somebody says to wish you good luck. Break a leg. How about I break your leg? Break a leg, guys. Right. What did you say to me? I said break a leg, guys. I don't want to break a leg. I'm gonna get the part. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. About eighteen in less than a year. Are you happy with where your life is at right now? Oh, yeah. I feel like I, I'm, I'm like so shook. I would have never have thought I would be here, like where I am at today, doing okay. stuff online and stuff. Okay. I know I say that a lot, but I would never expect myself to be building content on the internet. The fuck? Right, what are we talking about? Favorite dog breed? No. You know what's crazy? What? He's like real. Yeah. You're real, bro. But I, this is like a, like, I'm not stupid, but I get like, I get really aware sometimes. Yeah. Like, we're just on a planet right now. No, I do the same thing. Like, yeah. he is not a human. He is a small creature that just sits with me. Doesn't say anything. We've never spoken a word to each other. But you connect so much to it. Yes, but like if he died, I'd be devastated. Like it's just so strange. You know what's weird? Like, do you ever look outside and look at the, like you look at the sky, and you're just like, wow, we're in this like massive globe, mm -hmm. and like we will never, if you do, maybe not, like go outside this globe. You know what I get really interested in? Mental conditions. What makes a person, especially the brain? I love doing research. Oh, on the brain. brain's crazy. What makes a person think it's okay to kill another person? Did you like you know what really trips me out? Like the thing that trips me out the most is like we have a society, right? But there is nothing restricting you from doing anything. Like I could kill you. Promise? <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> Your family would be scared 
the dog would be like scared as hell. The police would come. They would take me away. And then high five you. Mm -hmm. Alright, how can we title this? Stupid bitches that think about the world. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Take a scary story. Scary story. Scary story. Scary time. story. So I was in Japan once. Oh, it's real. Oh, yeah. I was in Japan. You guys didn't go to Japan. I was in Japan two years ago. Nearly three years ago. And the day beforehand, in my room where I sleep, I would always feel this like sting. And I'd be like, what the? Okay, this is. This is I love doing this because my hair like flicks. So I'd feel the spirit. And like, I'd look out. Because my bed's this way and like the door's over there. So I'd look out and under the door a little bit of light would come through. And I'd no. look at the door light. And all you see is this black shadow go past the door. And I'd be like, okay. But I wouldn't get freaked out about it. Because it wasn't something that like I was new to, so I didn't know how to react. So it got to the stage when I was in Japan. And I would always get scared of it. I would kind of scared but not like scared. Like after I wake up I would freak out. But the minute it was happening it wouldn't freak me out. And like I stayed in my brother's, like the brother's room, and I stayed in the bottom bunk. And it was the last night before we left. And I stayed there for about like four days, five days. The room lights were like this color, but like when it went into nighttime, it would go into like a dark red. So I guess it kind of a dark red maroon kind of light color. The last night, last night was the only time the color would like appear. Like every other night it was like a blue. But this night it was red. And so I look out and I'm looking at my bed and all you see is this black shadow behind the door. Cause like the doorway was here and there's a like a little hallway kind of thing. Not a hallway, but like an indent like behind the like, I'm door. I'm cry. Why? Like I live for horror movies and horror stories, but like they just also freak me out. Okay, listen, she's gonna have nightmares tonight. I need someone to hold me close. Hey, brother. So the little hallway, like not a little hallway, but next to the door, this black shadow kind of like behind behind that little room and like slowly walked out. I was so petrified. Oh my god. Did you actually go to Japan? Yeah. Here's a story, it's not scary, but here's a story about scary, something scary. So that was nine. Slept over like our family friend's house. She was like, oh let's watch a funny movie. So I was like, okay. So she was like, let's watch scary movie three. And that's the one with the girl like in like the ring, yeah? Oh yeah yeah yeah. So I hadn't seen the ring before. I'm nine years old, right? When the movie finished, I was like I want to go home. She's like, do you, baby? Wasn't that scary? And I was like, but you have no idea. Yeah. Later that night, I was like, Jen, Jen, I need to get some water. So she's like, okay, let's go get some water. And I'm like filling up my glass and I turn around and she's standing there and she's put all of her hair no, in her No, no, no. When you're talking about the face and everything. Yeah. So what we did is like, so Japan again, but with oh this God, time. I'm well traveled. I'm cultured. No, but they <laughs> came to us this time. So it was at my cousin's house and it was like, we turned all the lights off because we were watching a movie. Um, but what we did was like one of the Japan like students went to get a drink and then my cousin turned off all the lights and we hit So she got scared and she's like Like got long black hair and these steps would like there's a step here path step that goes into like the living room And there's like this little section here you go to the laundry or like to an office kind of thing And so it's pitch black and all we hear is like we turn around and we hear this scream and it's her running and her face is in a way. So she's like that. Bro. But she was scared. I was scared. Hi, Jesus. <laughs> Should I get blonde? No, I just got bored cut. <laughs> I feel transformed. Head turns 360. <laughs>